Hi, welcome back again, everyone. It's been a few days since we've gotten together. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And today we're going to jump right back in and finish our story that we had started on Friday. And now I know when I did this on Friday, I said, I'll see you all tomorrow. So that was a mistake. And I apologize if anybody was waiting around, but I do hope that you had a wonderful weekend. And now let's get back to Box Turtle at Silver Pond Lane. Let's see, we were just at that really scary part where there was a car coming. Whew. Deep breath. Okay, we can handle this. We're gonna do it together. Okay. Oh, in the nick of time, the car swerves around Box Turtle. The driver spotted her brightly patterned shell against the dark pavement. Box Turtle is safe, at least for now. Ooh. She continues across the road and makes it safely to the other side. Across from the road, from the stone house, is a wide flower bed. Fireflies flicker and dance among the hosta's broad, blue-tipped leaves. A gentle breeze stirs the tall blooms on daylilies. Box Turtle stops and looks about the garden. She has found her nesting spot. You see that? Box Turtle begins the difficult job of digging a nest chamber. Mm -hmm. With her powerful hind legs, she digs a hole several inches deep in the soil. Her hind legs move one at a time, first the left and then the right. With each stroke, one foot scoops dirt from the deepening hole and piles it behind her. Suddenly she hears a noise, <gasps> a rustling in the leaves. Her senses warn her there is danger nearby. Here she is, digging her nest. You see her using her feet to dig her nest? Quickly, Box Turtle pulls her tail, feet, and head into her hard shell. A special hinge, remember we talked about that, on the underside of her shell allows her to close the shell tightly. The leaves rustle again as a young raccoon comes closer, sniffing the ground hungrily. His keen nose has picked up Box Turtle's scent. As the raccoon creeps closer, Box Turtle stays locked inside her shell. Almost reminded me of Michael Jackson lyrics. The raccoon is just inches from Box Turtle when he hears a noise. Someone is coming. The raccoon quickly forgets Box Turtle. His eyes dart about in the darkness as human voices draw nearer. It is a boy and his father. As the people come closer, the raccoon scampers away. You see the boy and his father? There's that box turtle shut up tight in her shell. Now I'm thinking we might want to stop there. Yes, let's stop there. That's another good spot. Always stopping with some good lights in the pictures. And we will find out tomorrow what happens when we conclude box turtle at Silver Pond Lane. Now, today, however, we're going to move on from reptiles and we're gonna meet another family of animals. But if you were a herpetologist who studies reptiles, you would also study these animals too. Another one of my favorites. Although truth be told, I'll tell you everything's my favorite. But I really like these guys. So without further ado, now this one might get a little bit messy today. Not only will we get silly, but we might get a little bit messy. First, before I hold our next visitors, I gotta get my hands nice and wet. Hmm, I wonder if that's a clue. My hands have to be nice and wet. Now, we're gonna attempt this craziness right now. We're gonna attempt to bring a few visitors out at once. They all kinda hang together, and I don't know how this is gonna go. It might be chaotic. We'll see. Wish me luck. Okay. Okay, Let's see. So slow, so slimy. Okay, 
almost there. I know you're waiting so patiently. Let's see. Okay. Good evening. Whoa! Tree frogs! Look at them. Do you see them all? Now, I actually have two kinds of tree frogs on my hands right now. This one and these two guys right here above these fingers are white tree frogs from Australia. They really, really are. And this little guy right here, he's also a white tree frog, but he's from Indonesia. So they're slightly different. These, these big guys that I showed you from Australia, sometimes they also call them whoa, dumpy frogs because they get a little bit chunky and, and really kind of floofy fat and they call them dumpy. There we go. There we go. So this is the Indonesian. A little bit smaller, a little bit greener. Doesn't, whoa, doesn't quite get as, as chunky as fat. But there's the whites from Indonesia. And these three are the dumpy frogs, the whites tree frogs from Australia. Pretty cool, right? They are very cool. Now, to tell you a few things that make amphibians, because that's what these guys are, they're amphibians. Tree frogs and other frogs are amphibians. To tell you what makes amphibians special, he's just, he's probably gonna end up on my face at some point. We're gonna learn some cool things about them. Now, the first is these adorable little eyes that they have. Do you see all their cute little eyes? Yeah, they're in a very, very special place. You can probably maybe see it on this guy if I get him close enough. His eyes poke up on, ah! <laughs> Just... <laughs> his eyes poke up on top. I'm gonna put him in here. <laughs> Told you this is gonna be chaos today. I may have to put them away if they're not gonna sit still. Ah! <laughs> So I'll tell you what, I'm going to put him away for a little bit. I promise I'll bring him back <laughs> if I can. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh, filming. Oh, they don't want to stay in now. Okay, there we go. They're just going to, I don't know what they're going to do. They're just going to hang in there. I don't know. It's going to be chaos. It's pure chaos. Get in there. Oh gosh, they're on the phone. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. We're almost there. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah! goodness. This is just not going to work, guys. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Almost there. So close. So close. Let's get to, get to, get to, get to, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I got the lid. Okay. Whew. No fingers. No fingers. No fingers. Now, we're going to put them away for a second. Thank you for bearing with me in that chaos. Woo! Welcome to working with animals. Now, what did we say about those eyes? They had eyes on top. So, just like with the bird, we're going to dress up a little bit today so we can become an amphibian. So, I'm going to get my, my eyes on top. What do you think? I have my eyes on top like an amphibian. Now, why do you think amphibians' eyes might need to be on top? Hmm. Well, a lot of amphibians like to be wet or near water. Or maybe if it's a, a toad or something that lives more in the forest, they're going to be just under the leaf litter, hiding and staying safe. So their eyes on top help them to hide down and they can see above the water or maybe the leaf litter and they can see what's around them. Maybe it's food, like bugs for them to eat, or maybe it's danger, maybe like the raccoon in that story. So their eyes on top help them to see what's around them. Now, there's something else really crazy that their eyes on top do. Their eyes on top actually help them to eat their food. It's crazy! So frogs and other amphibians have these really crazy long tongues, but they can't stick them out like you and me. They can't go very easily like that. They don't have the right muscles in their mouth. So instead they kind of throw their tongue out. They go, Bleh! And then, and then they eat, they pull their tongue back in, but it's hard for them to swallow because their tongue doesn't come in very easily. So they use their eye muscles and they squish their eyes down and it helps them swallow. That's pretty crazy, right? So their eyes, when they push them down, like a muscle pushes their tongue and their food back down into their bellies. So their eyes on top help protect them and find food and they help them swallow their food too. Really crazy. So that's our first thing. So we say amphibians have eyes on top. 
Pretty cool, huh? Now this one is gonna be a little bit of a longer video because the amphibians have so many cool things. So we'll see if we can get through a few of them today. If not, maybe we'll do one or two and then we'll finish tomorrow because I've got a lot of amphibian friends this week to show you. So let's do, let's do one more today. So we'll start with eyes on top and we'll do that other silly thing that we talked about earlier. When I, when I, ooh, when I sprayed, my hands. Why do you think I sprayed my hands? My hands had to be nice and wet. What do you think? See, I wonder if it's, can you see it dripping? Whoa, I am. Well, amphibians not only have eyes on top, but they have wet, slimy skin. Wet, slimy skin. And that helps them too to be able to do something special we're going to talk about tomorrow. But they always need their skin to be wet and slimy to help also keep them safe and protect them. So we're going to bring our amphibians out one more time and we can say goodbye to them together. And then when you come back and join us, Oh my goodness, y'all. We're going to end up doing like a part one and part two and hopefully we can splice them together because my phone just cut out quickly. So we're going to finish this up quickly because we do have to say goodnight. So as I said, I'm going to bring the amphibians back one more time. But let's try to remember, and, and again, we're kind of making it up a little bit, a song. So let's try to remember what made amphibians special today. We just did two things. I promise we'll do more tomorrow. So we can say, um, it's to the same tune. Those of you that know my mammal song, it's going to be the same tune. Amphibians have eyes on top, eyes on top, eyes on top. Amphibians have eyes on top and wet, slimy skin. Pretty cool, huh? So let's do it before we run out of too much time together. Let's bring these crazy, crazy amphibians back out one more time. And we <laughs> could have regret this. And we can say good night, amphibians. Let's see. Okay, these are the three. Ah, three Australians. Okay, okay. And this is the Indonesian. Whoa! Let's see. Almost got him. Oh, oh no! He's on the phone. Got him. Got him. And I got one across the room on my computer. Let me get him. Okay, there's one on my wall. <laughs> okay, we got it. Nope, we don't got it. We got it. Nope. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Almost. We got him. We got him. All four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's do it quickly together. Say goodbye. <laughs> Say good night, amphibians, and good night, tree frogs. Good night. <laughs> good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Let's see if I can turn it off without losing a frog. Bye.